So Valentin Dupre, welcome in our uh, series of uh, Sparkle interviews. So it is the first time we have somebody from your generation mm -hmm. uh, in the session. I'm looking forward to uh, hear an interesting story because then it will help me to convince other young people to also share their passion and experience. But I have talked enough, let's talk about you. Mm. Thank you. That's a huge, huge responsibility to inspire others. Um, so my name is Valentine Dupré. I was born in 1989 in Flanders and I live today in Brussels with my bilingual family. Um, it is my mission in life to uh, try to help and build uh, the society of tomorrow. Um, I try to do this as a mother, as a uh, woman, as a friend, but also professionally as an executive and leadership coach and as a board member. Um, I strongly believe that both roles uh, reinforce one another. They both give me uh, distinct uh, and privileged insights into the business world. Um, and uh, combining these roles gives me the ability to both understand the uh, business side and the underlying drivers present in any organization. Um, and at the same time, those roles are very distinct. Um, whereas as a coach, I um, try to help uh, leaders and moderate leaders in conversations with themselves in order to build a stronger value proposition. Um, as a board member, I am an actor. And, I, and building my own value proposition has been a, a big uh, chunk of uh, my recent uh, board journey. Um, I have a background in the historic real estate sector um, and my first uh, governance roles were within that sector, a board role at Bruno Historique and I sat at the General Assembly of Eureka. Yeah, thank you. Interesting. Uh, and now I think your role in the board is uh, in Greenyard. Uh, I heard the word value add a few times already, so um, what do you bring in? Uh, this role as okay. value add, and how do you see that? So I entered Greenyard um, as, a, or the board of Greenyard as a, a member of the founding family. Um, I've been a privileged witness of uh, this entrepreneurial endeavor um, as, uh, as my father is the, the founder um, of the company and I'm quite humbled to have the opportunity now to, to uh, play an active role within the board. Um, but with the humbleness also came um, uh, the sense of responsibility. I wanted to get to know the company better. I had some knowledge because the company was never far away at the family dinner table. As you imagine. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, there, there, um, there was certainly uh, a lot of room for improvement and, and for in deepening my knowledge of uh, both the company and the sector. Um, but also I uh, was quite uh, insecure about what I, as a young woman, could bring to uh, such a lar large company. Uh, and um, I embarked on a mentor uh, journey in order to build my value proposition for this company. Um, and it's uh, been an interesting ride which brought me to sustainability, a vast topic that um, I live daily as a person and certainly as a young mother. Uh, but also professionally. Um, and so along the way, I've tried to sharpen my knowledge on the topic, um, also sharpen my vision on, on what sustainability is for me. And for me, it's, it's uh, based on three pillars. Um, my view on sustainability is people-centered. I um, strongly believe that uh, employees, uh, when employees are, are empowered, that uh, you build a more robust change and therefore company. Um, I also uh, strongly believe in a materiality approach, um, which ESG topics hurt the company today and which ones are the key for uh, a robust company uh, that can function and contribute to society of tomorrow. Um, but also uh, my view is quite integrative. I, uh, Next to the E, I also, uh, and, and those are actually my sweet spots, I focus on a governance and, and social uh, topics. Um, and I strongly believe that focusing on 
NESNG um, brings a sustainability journey forward from uh, a, a pure uh, stakeholder demands and, and, uh, and um, compliance uh, approach towards an internal drive on, on the matter. I'm really impressed to see how you have a vision on this and how you combine this in your, uh, I would say, combination of what you see as your contribution and also how you link that to our challenges of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Great. Now we are here because Gabana gave us the opportunity to mm -hmm. do the interview. What, what's your experience uh, with Gabana so far? Mm -hmm. I strongly believe that uh, a board journey is a journey of giving and learning. Um, and so Gubernia helps with the learning part. Um, it is a house of governance, both in uh, what they offer and the network they offer, um, which is also a rich source of knowledge on many governing topics. Thank you very much for this interview. I'm looking forward to meet you on our next network events. So Valentin has given us really uh, the proof that uh, having younger people in our uh, boardrooms is really justified. If you want to know more details, because uh, Valentin has shared much more of her views, uh, I invite you to read the article on the banner. It is available in French, English and uh, Dutch, so there will be no problem. Uh, looking forward to have your reactions.